Okay, so welcome to the smelliest area of our farm currently in 2020, and that is the area where we're doing our research with CBD hemp. So this research is supported by the Kansas Department of Agriculture, and the goal of this research is to identify growing methods for CBD hemp uh, that are both productive and economically viable for growers here in Kansas, but also minimize the risk of producing a crop that's going to have a higher than 0.3% THC concentration. As we all know, in the world of industrial hemp, if we get above 0.3% THC, then the crop has to be destroyed, which is obviously a big problem for our growers here in Kansas. So the goal of this research is to grow the hemp under a few different systems and identify the systems that result in the highest CBD level and the lowest THC. So in this project, we have a high tunnel production system. We have outdoor production system on white plastic, on black plastic, and then in a no-till system. In the no-till system, we actually planted a rye cover crop last fall, and then we rolled it down this spring and planted the hemp directly through that cover crop residue. This is only our second year working with CBD hemp out here at the Olathe Horticulture Center. Um, but what we found last year is that the plant is very productive in high tunnels. We were able to get over three and a half pounds per plant uh, in the high tunnel production system, which if you talk to hemp growers is very high uh, in terms of yield and quality. Uh, and we also had very high CBD levels as well up in the neighborhood of uh, 11 to 15 percent, depending on the time of the year. Now, one of the other things that we learned last year is the amount of both CBD levels and THC is highly dependent on when you harvest. If you harvest too late, then you can potentially end up with a hot crop or one that has higher than 0.3% THC. So that's one of the things we're gonna be trying to work, work on this fall is trying to identify the proper time for harvesting, monitor those CBD and THC levels as they're getting through the very end of their maturity process, and then identify when the best time is to actually conduct the harvest. If you're interested to learn more about CBD hemp here in Kansas or other types of hemp production, we are conducting a virtual field day for our hemp group uh, as well, and that'll be later in September. <laughs>